Yes, folks, hand tracking is now a thing in Microsoft Flight Simulator, courtesy of the Open XR Toolkit. That's a, a third party add on that does things like fixed foveated rendering, it does some upscaling. It's very, very, very clever indeed. And the latest version of that has added hand tracking. And you can see that that's represented here by some skeleton models it effectively makes your hands become the vr controllers in the game it's got a very good set of instructions on how to do this today we're going to be taking a look at how easy it is to fly the aircraft making use of your hands and my guess is not very as nifty a technology as this is i suspect it's going to be a little bit problematic so you can swap controllers by gripping your hands like this and then to activate things you use a pinching motion I've got my Logitech uh, rudder pedals just temporarily but let's see if we can get this bird in the air as you can see it is possible to use both of your hands at the same time. Air speed is coming alive. It's 50. Oy, oh, <laughs> that's not easy. It's uh, <laughs> very, very, very difficult to get some precise control on there. Let's just bring throttle back a little bit. I mean, for a third party, and I should say free application, it's not bad, actually. I do like the skeleton models that you get in front of the controllers as well. It was relatively straightforward to get set up, but starting to give us an idea of where things are heading in future let's see if we can bring ourselves back round for a landing it's not it's not gonna give you the fine control that you would get off of a dedicated yoke or something like that but it is controllable just about don't sink don't sink don't sink nice don't smooth sink. experience here in the uh, in the Quest 2, and of course this hand tracking makes use of the, of the Quest 2's hand tracking capability. This will also work with a leap motion, if you've got one of those. There's Coventry Airfield, so a little bit more power, just to try and get a little bit more altitude. We're doing a very low traffic pattern, if you could call it that. I'm not sure that you've got the finesse of controls in order to be able to do a proper a traffic pattern here. But yeah, I mean, it... <laughs> it's a novelty. I'm not sure it's quite ready yet for uh, more widespread use. I do... I'm a big advocate of you deepen immersion by... Uh, in virtual reality by having that tactile sensation you know for things like as an example table tennis having something that looks and feels like a table tennis a paddle is a great thing to have but just sort of waving your hands in in midair touching nothing is a slightly surreal experience I mean some sort of haptic glove with the tactile feedback would just be amazing I've actually flown this traffic pattern entirely the wrong uh, side of the airport completely ignoring all of Coventry's uh, noise abatement procedures bring that throttle back and start at turn Whoa, hello. I've 
<laughs> oh, I've lost, I've lost the grip of the yoga. Oh, dearie me. Oh. Right, there's the airfield. We can do this. We can do this. A little bit more. A little bit more power. It... <laughs> Very low. We're way too fast. This is not easy to do. I'm not I'm not sure I'm necessarily recommending this. Let's take the power out. Uh we're very high. No, I think we might just about get it. We've got all the power out. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. We're gonna round out. A bit on the far side, got some speed to bleed. Let's flare. And boom. Oh, that was a hard landing. That was a very hard landing. Uh, interesting. Interesting. I will leave a link to the OpenXR toolkit. If you don't have it, it does work with any VR headset. It's got NVIDIA's NIS upscaling in there. It's got AMD's FSR upscaling. It will do foveated rendering where it lowers the resolution in your peripheral vision uh, and now hand tracking amongst a number of other features it does some scaling of the world as well if the aircraft feels too large or too small it's an excellent excellent tool this hand tracking is a novelty it's a sign of things to come it's not quite ready yet i don't think uh, but there we go hand tracking in microsoft flight simulator as always i hope you're very well wherever in the world you are stay safe in the skies and I will see you in my next one.